Hey guys, welcome to my channel. When we talk about mega projects, Chinese engineers have long been known for their astonishing construction speed and the incredible engineering projects they undertake. Chinese engineers are like superheroes in the field of construction, actively participating in the country's engineering construction to accommodate its growing population and rapidly developing economy and technology through the construction of large-scale engineering projects. On the vast land of China, bridges and dams are not only the bonds connecting the two sides of rivers and rivers but also the bright pearls of Chinese engineering technology. Today, let us together appreciate the amazing bridge construction technology in China and those super dams standing above the rivers. But before we delve into the discussion, we kindly ask you to support us by liking this video and subscribing to my channel. We value your thoughts and invite you to share your views in the comments below. Without further ado, let's start an extraordinary journey. First, let's start with Chinese bridges. Bridges, as the crystallization of human wisdom, have been vividly displayed in China. From the ancient Zhaozhou Bridge to the modern Hong Kong Zhuhaimacao Bridge, China's bridge construction technology has been at the forefront of the world. Each bridge is an epic, recording the hard work and creative wisdom of the Chinese people. From the ancient Zhaozhou Bridge, with its unique arch structure and exquisite stone carving art, showing the wisdom and ingenuity of the ancients, to the modern Hong Kong Zhuhaimacao Bridge, with its huge scale, complex technology, and innovative concept, it has become a miracle in the history of world bridges. This bridge not only connects Hong Kong, Macau, and Zhuhai but also demonstrates China's leading position in modern bridge construction. The Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge travels across the sea, it gradually descends into the water, and at the terminus where it submerges, 33, Giant tunnel tubes were sunk sequentially to the seabed to from a 6.7 kilometers long undersea tunnel. The tunnel not only leaves sufficient space on the sea surface, but also greatly reduces the structure's impact on sea currents. The two flanking artificial islands ensured a seamless transition between the undersea tunnel and connecting bridges. With such combination, the longest sea crossing bridge in the world literally paves a path across the vast sea. Besides, the Shenzhen Zhongshan Bridge under construction is also a great miracle in the history of bridge construction in China. The Shenzhen Zhongshan Bridge connects Shenzhen and Zhongshan City in Guangdong Province, where the 270-meter-high bridge tower supports the Lingdingyang Bridge with a span of up to 1666 meters, becoming the bridge with the largest span in China's sea area. China's bridge construction technology is truly amazing especially in complex terrain conditions, such as high mountains and deep sea currents, Chinese bridge engineers have created one miracle after another with exquisite technology and unremitting efforts. They have not only solved technical problems but also demonstrated to the world the grandeur and magnificence of Chinese bridges. So far, China has more impressive bridges than any other country. But have you ever thought that each bridge has its own unique story? The Beipan River Bridge the Beipan River Bridge is located at the junction of Yunnan and Guizhou provinces and is one of the highest bridges in the world, with a height of 565 meters from the bridge deck to the river surface, equivalent to the height of a 200-story building. However, this bridge has been labeled as a knockoff by American media. Some American experts publicly questioned and ridiculed the construction speed of this bridge believing that China could not have built such a spectacular project solely on its own efforts and must have copied American designs and methods. This kind of statement not only lacks understanding of China's construction level and innovation ability but also carries a sense of disdain. China's development is truly amazing. Most Americans don't have a clue what it is like over there. The USA should be inspired by China and seek to learn from them rather than demonize them and make them America's enemy. China is a great example of hard work and dedication, which used to be American values. China is also a great example of what is possible when government focuses its resources in the best interests of its people, rather than focusing resources on going to war with the rest of the world. So, is the Beipan River Bridge really like that? Does China really not have the ability to build such a bridge? Let's uncover the truth together. China has a long history and rich experience in bridge construction, 
achieving many independent design and technological achievements. China is the hometown of bridges, with the largest number of bridges in the world and a vast scale. Bridge construction is an important support for China's economic development and the essence of China's engineering technology. Americans were once unwilling to believe that in their eyes still backward China, they could build such amazing bridges in just three years. The results of the expert group's on-site inspection exceeded their imagination. China not only completed the construction of this bridge in three years, but also broke several world records. The Beipan River Bridge, with a total length of 1,341.1 meters and built to a dual carriageway standard, was designed for a speed of 80 kilometers per hour and cost 1 billion yuan. It was constructed using a variety of advanced technologies, giving it a strong sense of science and technology. Since its completion, the bridge has not only optimized the transportation environment between the two locations, but also ended the history of no high-speed access between Xianwei and Zhuicheng. However, before the construction of this bridge, due to the complex terrain and harsh climate in the Beipan River area, combined with the fact that the Yunangoizhou Plateau is a mountainous region with rough roads, residents on both sides could only rely on walking to travel between the two locations, leading to very backward economic development. To improve this situation, China decided to build a bridge across the canyon between the two locations. From then on, the Beipan River Bridge began to take shape. However, in the early stages of the project, it sparked many doubts and ridicule internationally. This was also due to the extremely harsh environment at the junction of the two provinces, with many caves and a high degree of construction difficulty and danger. At the same time, the distance from the bridge deck to the river surface is 565.4 meters, equivalent to the height of a 200-story building, higher than the highest Melau viaduct in France by nearly 100 meters. For China, this was undoubtedly a new challenge. Faced with these world-class challenges, how did China overcome them one by one? First, the location of the bridge is in a karst landform, and the 10 kilometers of mountains along the river are densely packed with limestone, with very poor hardness, unable to bear the weight of the bridge, so the bridge deck had to be raised. However, it is easy to have collapses of caves during construction, which greatly affects the construction. To ensure the stability of the bridge, Chinese engineers initially planned to build a suspension bridge, but transporting a large amount of materials faced difficulties. Therefore, the technical team overturned this idea and adopted a method of connecting the bridge deck by supporting steel cables through bridge piers, which is also called a cable-stayed bridge, and then pulling up the bridge deck with steel cables. The Beipan River Bridge used a total of 244 steel cables with a diameter of only 5.1 millimeters, with a tensile strength exceeding 1860 megapascals, far exceeding international standards. After solving this problem, a new challenge arose, namely the anchoring problem. Regardless of the type of suspension bridge built, it will use the core component of anchoring, which is equivalent to the main beam of the suspension bridge. If the Beipan River Bridge also uses this component, it would be necessary to fill the caves in the mountain and build a concrete anchoring area of over 10,000 square meters on both sides of the bridge, but doing so would greatly damage the balance of the mountain. To avoid damaging the mountain and still be able to build the suspension bridge, experts proposed a bold new approach, which was to let the Beipan River Bridge adopt the design of auxiliary bridge piers with the bridge piers on both sides as the fulcrum. However, this design brought new challenges to the height of the bridge. Even with innovative design, the bridge deck is still nearly 100 meters above the ground. At 2,461 feet, the spire is taller than the two Eiffel Towers and the Statue of Liberty combined. And the bridge deck has to bear more than 52,310 tons which is equivalent to the weight of five Titanic ships combined. As a result, the bridge piers not only have to play a supporting role, but also have to withstand the huge frictional force generated by the horizontal movement of the steel truss, which is extremely difficult to achieve. After many discussions, Chinese engineers decided to abandon this approach and adopted the method of longitudinal splicing, 
and conducted multiple computer simulations to ensure the safety of this plan. When connecting the steel beams with bolts, the construction team made a decision that broke with tradition, using plastic bolts. This move was also met with many doubts, but it proved to be a far-sighted decision. After many comparisons and tests, Chinese engineers found that plastic bolts were superior to iron bolts in terms of wear resistance and rust resistance, greatly improving the wind and earthquake resistance of the bridge and extending its service life. It can be said that this small piece of plastic not only solved the 300 billion project problems overseas, but also reduced the later maintenance costs. The Beipan River Bridge also used a large number of black technologies, using the latest scientific research results, conducting simulation analysis through computers, and conducting preliminary demonstration through 3D modeling. After three years, the Beipan River Bridge was completed in 2015 and opened to traffic smoothly. In 2018, it won the Nobel Prize at the 35th National Bridge Conference and was awarded the title of the world's tallest bridge, the Siju Bridge. The Siju Bridge is a magnificent cable-stayed bridge that has become the focus of attention worldwide due to its unique construction method. In the history of bridge construction, it was the first time that rocket technology was used to transport the lead steel cables, completing this unprecedented feat. The two heavy-duty steel cables of this bridge, like two giant dragons, lie above the gorge, woven from tens of thousands of tons of high-strength steel wires, incredibly sturdy, firmly fixed on the bridge piers on both sides. These steel cables hang down from the main cables, connecting the bridge deck like countless lifelines, carrying vehicles and pedestrians back and forth, ensuring their safe passage. However, during the construction of this bridge, engineers faced enormous challenges. Before laying the main cables, a lead steel cable had to be sent to the opposite side of the gorge. This task seemed simple but was actually extremely difficult. The span of the Siju Bridge reaches over a thousand meters, and the gorges on both sides are steep and rugged, making ground transportation impossible. At the same time, due to the complex terrain of the gorge and the strong wind, helicopters were also unable to safely transport the lead steel cables from the air. Faced with this problem, Chinese engineers did not back down. After careful consideration, they finally came up with a bold and innovative solution, using rockets to transport the lead steel cables. This idea may sound incredible, but with the ingenious ideas and bold innovations of Chinese engineers, it became a reality. Engineers contacted nearby military units and obtained a military rocket. Then, they replaced the explosive cord with the lead steel cable, and after careful planning and preparation, the rocket successfully delivered the lead steel cable to the opposite side of the gorge. This innovative solution not only solved a major problem in the construction of the bridge, but also fully demonstrated the wisdom and innovative ability of Chinese engineers. The construction of the Siju Bridge is the result of the ingenious ideas and bold innovations of Chinese engineers, which has had a huge impact internationally. Many international bridge experts have said that they had never thought of using rocket technology to build a bridge before. This bridge is not only a transportation hub connecting both sides, but also a symbol of the wisdom and innovation of Chinese engineers. It showcases China's leading position and strong capabilities in the field of bridge construction to the world, and provides valuable experience and insights for future bridge construction. The construction of the Siju Bridge not only demonstrates the outstanding innovative ability of Chinese engineers, but also brings a revolutionary solution to the global bridge construction field. Although Chinese engineers have made this technology public, due to its high requirements and difficulty, no other bridge worldwide has yet been constructed using the same technology. This has allowed the Siju Bridge to maintain its status as the only bridge in the world built using rocket technology. This achievement has not only won international reputation for Chinese engineers, but also made Western countries, which once underestimated Chinese technology, take notice. They have to admit that China's innovative strength has taken the lead in the world. As a brilliant pearl of scientific and technological innovation, the bridge has established a new image for China on the global stage, showcasing its increasingly strong national and technological capabilities.
Comparable to these bridges are China's super dams. These dams lie across rivers like giant dragons, regulating water flow and bringing abundant irrigation and clean energy to the Chinese people. From the Three Gorges Dam to the Baihetan Dam, each dam is a pinnacle of Chinese engineering technology. They not only have strong flood control, power generation, and irrigation functions, but also demonstrate the Chinese people's respect for and utilization of nature. Behind these dams, there is the wisdom and sweat of countless engineers and laborers, who with their own hands, are writing a brilliant chapter in the construction of Chinese dams. The Baihetan Dam, a name that has been resounding in recent years, is not only a milestone in China's hydroelectric engineering but also a marvel in the history of global hydropower construction. Its maximum height of 289 meters makes it as tall as a 100-story skyscraper, yet the narrowest at its crest is only 14 meters wide. Despite the extremely slim body, this dam is able to withstand 16.5 million tons of thrust which is enough to send more than 15,000 long March 5th rockets to the sky. How is this possible? Perhaps a change in perspective is all we need to know the answer. Looking from above, the Baihetan Dam adopts an arch structure, commonly known as Arch Dam. This structure can transfer the thrust of the water flow to the mountain's sides. With mountains sharing the load, Arch Dams do not need to be as massive as gravity dams to remain stable. As a statically indeterminate structure, arch dams exhibit extremely high levels of safety that their overload capacity can be up to more than 10 times the design load. The Baihetan Dam located in the lower reaches of the Jinsha River, it is the world's largest under construction hydropower project with the highest technical difficulty. Its completion will have profound effects on China's energy structure, Yangtze River flood control, and navigation. However, Today we won't discuss these high-level topics, instead, let's talk about the awe-inspiring process of pouring concrete. The pouring process of the Baihetan Dam is an engineering marvel. Just imagine, to build this dam, the total amount of concrete required is enough to construct 25 Shanghai World Financial Centers, a scale that is truly astounding. The pouring method is even more jaw-dropping, with seven huge cable cranes working in concert, lifting containers filled with 30 tons of concrete, and precisely pouring them across the hundreds of meters of the gorge. This not only tests the excellence of the technology but also showcases the wisdom and courage of the engineers. To ensure the integrity of the dam structure, engineers decided to use a one-time pouring method, which meant that for 1,500 days, workers had to work day and night without stopping. To meet the dam's demand for stone materials, engineers mined the rock using explosives equivalent to the power of a light atomic bomb. Up to 200 dump trucks shuttled back and forth on the construction site every day, continuously delivering these stone materials to the stone processing plant. However, during the concrete pouring process, Chinese engineers demonstrated their innovative spirit by using a type of low heat cement and strictly selecting stones, greatly enhancing the anti-cracking performance of the concrete. During the mixing process, engineers also added crushed ice to ensure that the concrete could maintain a low temperature of 6 degrees Celsius. Moreover, vehicles responsible for transporting concrete were all equipped with thermal insulation layers to ensure that the temperature of the concrete could be controlled at 12 degrees Celsius when it arrived at the pouring site. To better control the temperature of the dam, engineers divided the dam into sections for pouring and installed temperature sensors, with on-site workers continuously measuring the temperature of each area and uploading the measurement data to the central control system in real time. This control system acts like the nervous system of the dam, responsible for collecting and analyzing various information, including excavation, grouting, concrete pouring, etc. Once any abnormal temperature is detected in a construction area, the central control system will immediately activate the embedded water pipes for automatic cooling, ensuring that the pouring work of the dam can proceed smoothly. At the other end of the deep dam construction, we see Chinese engineers working on a spectacular project, excavating massive cavern groups to install the world's largest generator units. Faced with the challenge of embedding 16 huge million kilowatt level generator units into an unstable mountain, they have shown remarkable professionalism and wisdom. 
engineers first created a massive space on both sides of the mountain, measuring 438 meters long, 34 meters wide, and 89 meters high, a scale large enough to accommodate an aircraft carrier. The amount of sand and gravel excavated is enough to fill two west lakes in Hangzhou. However, excavating such a huge space in the mountains with two fault zones and ensuring its stability is undoubtedly a daunting task. To ensure safety, engineers decided to pre-grout the mountain before excavation, as if using glue to bond loose mountain materials into a strong hole. At the same time, they installed more than 4,000 sets of detectors on the front and back mountains, which act as sensitive sentinels, monitoring any slight changes in the mountain at all times. Once an anomaly is detected, the safety monitoring center immediately issues a warning. With safety ensured, engineers began excavation of the caverns. They cleverly divided the excavation of the caverns into 10 layers, excavating layer by layer from top to bottom, and grouting the rock walls with anchors after each layer was excavated. This way, the constructed caverns are like a fortress, impregnable. When they reached the fourth layer, according to the design requirements, a huge gantry crane needed to be installed. This gantry crane's role is to facilitate the installation of the water turbine generator units that would follow. The water turbine generator unit consists of a water turbine and a generator. Its working principle is to draw water from the dam's 200-meter high intake hole, guide it through the huge pipes on both sides of the dam into the spiral-shaped volute, drive the water turbine to rotate, convert the impact force of the water into mechanical energy, and then drive the generator to generate electricity. To withstand the tremendous water pressure, the volute is made of special steel. The rotation of the 1 million kilowatt generator requires a huge rotor, the manufacturing of which is considered the most difficult in the world. This 350-ton water turbine is the core component of the Byheaton Dam Generator Unit. According to safety standards, the dynamic balance of the water turbine is extremely strict, with deviations per kilogram not exceeding 1.5 grams per millimeter. Despite the enormous manufacturing difficulty, Chinese engineers did not back down. They spent a full five years to finally produce the world's largest rotor. The rotor is welded together with an upper crown, a lower ring, and 15 blades weighing 11 tons each requiring the use of tens of tons of welding wire. Moreover, the welding process requires heating the rotor to 120 degrees Celsius before welding can begin, which is undoubtedly a huge challenge for the welders. After welding, the rotor undergoes a series of rigorous tests to ensure its performance reaches optimal condition. Afterwards, it will be sent to the cavern of the dam for installation. Inside the cavern, a gantry crane capable of lifting 1,300 tons will play a crucial role. It will lift the rotor steadily and install it inside the water turbine generator. After the water turbine is installed, the next step is to install the generator rotor, which has a diameter of 16.2 meters, a height of 4 meters, and a weight of 2,100 tons. These installation works require extremely high precision and rigorous operating procedures to ensure the safe and stable operation of the generator unit. When it comes to the gantry crane that can only lift 1,300 tons, you might have some doubts about how it could handle lifting this massive 2,100-ton object. But engineers' ingenuity always surpasses our imagination. They cleverly combine two gantry cranes to form a powerful force. What's even more surprising is that they decided to let a female operator control this combined crane. Such an arrangement may confuse many people. Why choose a woman to operate such a large lifting equipment? Is it because women have unique advantages in certain aspects? Perhaps they are more careful, patient, and able to remain calm and stable in complex operations. Or maybe it's just to break gender barriers and show more people the strength and charm of women in the engineering field. Regardless, this female operator demonstrated amazing skills. She had to lift the 2,100-ton rotor to a height of 6 meters and move it steadily to the installation position over a distance of more than 300 meters. This requires extremely high precision and stability, but she did it, and the entire process took nearly an hour. However, this was just the beginning of the challenge. 
The distance between the generator stator and rotor was only 5 centimeters, which was a huge test for the crane operator. Any slight mistake could lead to the failure of the entire project. Fortunately, she had 12 years of driving experience and with her rich experience and close cooperation with ground personnel, successfully installed the rotor in the designated position. It is these Chinese engineers who dare to innovate and challenge themselves, using their wisdom and courage, who have created engineering miracles that amaze the world. They have not only demonstrated the excellent level of Chinese engineering technology but also shown the courage and responsibility of Chinese engineers to the world. China's bridges and dams are the shining jewels of Chinese engineering technology, as well as the crystallization of the wisdom of the Chinese people. They witnessed the brilliant achievements of China's engineering construction and showcased the charm of Chinese engineering technology to the world. In the future, we have every reason to believe that China will continue to create more miracles in the field of bridge and dam construction. China, a nation of resilience and determination, has always commanded utmost respect. Its hard-working people embody the essence of perseverance and dedication. Despite facing numerous challenges and enduring profound pain, they never cease to strive for greatness. China's indomitable spirit is a testament to their unwavering commitment to excellence. In times of adversity, China's unwavering understanding of humanity shines bright. Their profound philosophical insights encapsulate the essence of compassion, empathy, and unity. China's philosophy of life is a boundless source of wisdom, guiding individuals towards a deeper understanding of the human experience. China, with its rich history and cultural heritage, has left an indelible mark on the world. The achievements of its people and their relentless pursuit of progress inspire admiration and awe. Their unwavering determination to make China the best resonates with the hearts of millions. China's contributions to humanity are truly remarkable. From revolutionary advancements in technology and science to promoting peace and harmony in a rapidly changing world, China has proven to be a guiding light for humankind. The values ingrained in the Chinese culture, such as respect, integrity, and honor, serve as a beacon of inspiration for people around the world. Let us celebrate China, a nation that continues to grow and prosper against all odds. Let us cherish their commitment to humanity and their tireless efforts to uplift their nation and the world. China's unwavering spirit and deep understanding of humanity elevate them to a position of admiration and respect. May China continue to shine bright, leading the way towards a better and more compassionate future for all. The journey through China's mega-projects is one of awe and inspiration a testament to human ingenuity, innovation, and the relentless pursuit of progress. Each of China's major projects showcases the remarkable feats that can be achieved when vision, technology, and sheer determination come together. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. We would love to hear your thoughts and insights in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more fascinating content. Thank you for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Let's continue to explore, learn, and inspire together. Take care and goodbye.